It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Juliana Pena and Valentina Shevchenko. An MMA pro since 2003. She's been mixing the martial arts since before it was cool. Here is the number one bantamweight contender, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko, Muay Thai fighter, but again, a modern day, well-rounded mixed martial artist that is vaulted into title contention by virtue of her all-around game. Valentina Shevchenko, super technical, and a woman who you get the sense will be a force to be reckoned with in, in this division for some time. This girl is an outstanding striker. She definitely wants to keep this fight on the feet. She has very good takedown defense as well. Good hands, very good kicks, elbows, knees, and punches. A full arsenal of striking techniques. Well, you'd be hard-pressed to find a meaner, nastier bantamweight on the roster than the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. She has relocated from her home state of Washington to Chicago, and the results have really dovetailed with the relocation. Pena on an absolute tear before running into Valentina Shevchenko in a main event in 2017. You gotta think before her career is said and done, Pena will be strapped with that UFC goal. This girl has a ridiculous chin. Her ability to take punishment is the stuff of legends. I have seen her take bombs and barely wins. She presses forward, and because of the fact that she has this incredible chin, she is able to stay in the pocket and land strikes on her opponent that maybe other fighters would never be able to get off. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC back of weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Valentina Bullet Shevchenko! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane, Washington, Juliana, the Venezuelan fixer! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Go Here ahead. we go. So here she is, the Bantamweight contender, the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. She has relocated her training camp from Washington State to Chicago and feels like she has made major strides in all rounds of mixed martial arts. Grappling advantage here tonight, but you know Juliana is not afraid to strike. We shall see how this one unfolds. She's staying busy here, connecting with those punches. First round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not, the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Back to side control. And into full mount. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. There we go, north-south position. Trying to spin to the back. Back to full guard, very nice. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Both hooks in. And now she's got full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to take the back here. Just over three minutes to go on off first round.
Covering up, doing a nice job of stopping that ground and pound. Damaging punch lands for her there. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Big punch from the bottom. Nice. She's now working from side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Shevchenko gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Works the double underhooks here. Oh, beautiful trip. Now she's in half guard and got full mount. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice. She's got full back mount. Kenya's hammer fist is blocked. Half guard. Into side control again. And moves to north-south. She's definitely looking for a choke. She's got that choke locked in. Look at that, that is high level ground game there. She may have to tap, this choke is getting tighter. Just and absolutely incredible. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Yeah, Joe, hard to find any fault with her execution there down the stretch. She set up the choke perfectly, clearly had it sunk in deep, and her opponent got to the point where she was going to go to sleep if she didn't tap out. So the tap comes, and no bigger win than the one she just turned in here tonight. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Julia the Venezuelan Vixen Pena. So congratulations to Bantamweight contender Juliana Pena, who continues to show great improvements since moving her camp from the Pacific Northwest to the Midwest. And you're just not going to out-mean or out-nasty Juliana Pena. She gets one of the biggest wins of her UFC career in a big spot here tonight. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Paige Van Zandt and Felice Herrick. So here's the strawweight contender, Felice Herrick. Not a lot of people gave her a chance fighting Alexa Grosso in Houston, Texas back in February of 2017. Emerged with a big upset win that night, and that really got her career back on a championship trajectory. This is a woman who has been in the MMA game almost 10 years, had a battle with a lot of different demons outside the octagon, lost her brother when she was a very young girl, and that is something that has buoyed her late in her MMA career. Felice Herrick, her current form, the best of her MMA career. This girl is one of the very best defensive fighters in the sport. She is so good at blocking strikes and so difficult to hit cleanly in a vulnerable area. Her blocking technique is something that all young fighters should watch and try to emulate.
So here is Paige Van Zandt representing Team Alpha Male in Sacramento, California. She's been forced to grow up in the UFC, but that doesn't mean she hasn't realized a lot of success. A lot of people believe with her well-rounded skill set and the grappling starting to catch up to the striking that Paige Van Zandt is going to find herself in a UFC strawweight championship fight before her career is said and done. And of course, she is just getting started. The wildly popular 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt in another big one tonight. This girl is a real submission specialist. She will engage on the feet, but look for her openings to try to take this fight to the ground, where that is where she really shines. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with the same height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting at a crystal red counter, Felice Lilbuka Harry! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter with a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Rock Cage, Paige And when the action begins, our referee comes with the octagon jam. Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, we are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Well, you can expect a high volume of output. Oh, big shot. Hard straight punch. Yeah, these Beautiful. are what did you say about my mother punches. Big oh, left that punch. That is a huge left hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Tries to pass, but can't. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Eric gets the double underhooks. Goes for the early takedown, no problem there. Trying to spin to the back. Now she's in full guard. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. In half guard. Oh, nice strike landed there by Dancing. Another shot. Trying to take the back here. Big shot. Showing good defense, covering up, stopping that ground and pound. Throws the right hand there. Good punch. Wow! That'll do it! What a fight! Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. Yeah, Joe, an outstanding flurry at the end of this fight. It was the one big strike she landed that started it all. She got the knockdown and then seized the opportunity. She jumped in and ultimately forced the referee stoppage. So defensively, certainly for that fighter, she left a little bit to be desired with her performance. But again, all credit to the offense here. Got the knockdown and made sure to follow it up. And here's where the ref called it. Well, she had it all going here tonight as she gets the victory by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute 49 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by TKO, 12-gauge, Paige Van 
So time to exhale for Paige Van Zant, your winner here tonight, and there it is, that million dollar smile. We've essentially watched her grow up inside the octagon and evolve her skills. Clearly tonight, she took her game to that requisite next level. Let's see if now she draws a top five opponent here at 115 pounds. All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Lauren Murphy and Alexa Grasso. Repping Mexico 100% and her team Lobo MMA, here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, fighting out of Guadalajara, and man, does she have star potential. No longer undefeated, but still a legitimate strawweight threat and contender. Outstanding striker, also brings some jujitsu credentials to the table. Knockout wins, four of them, three in 36 seconds or less. You gotta be mindful of Alexa Grasso's power and her technique. We'll see if she continues that trend tonight. This girl has outstanding kicking technique. It is one of her best assets. Ridiculous power in her legs. They come fast, and when they land, they have devastating impact. She is one of the best kickers in this division. Well, as she makes the walk here tonight, she's probably thinking right now, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because if I can get through the takedown defense, I don't think she's getting up for the duration of the round. Her top game is scary good. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, you can sap their willpower and their gas tank. You better be able to stop her shot tonight. If not, it can make for a short night at the office. This girl has off the charts cardio. It is one of her biggest assets and one of the things that she pushes the hardest on. She knows that most fighters can't keep up with her. So she drags them into a race that they simply can't win. It's one of her strongest assets and she is extremely confident in utilizing it. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC battle mechanism. Fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Alexa Rosa! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. Nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Lauren Murphy. And the action begins, the referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Fight. Here we go. All right, here's the Mexican phenom, Alexa Grasso, ready to go for round one. Her UFC career began in fine form, obviously. A unanimous decision victory over Heather Joe Clark. We'll see how she chooses to attack here tonight. She has gotten progressively more patient as her MMA career has gone on, but there's no denying she's got the pop early. Her MMA career began with three first-round knockouts, all of them in 36 seconds or fewer. Grasso, oh! Yeah, this could be it! Leg kick. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. Excellent feint with the kick. Oh, nice punch there by Murphy. She blocks that offense, Joe. She did a real nice job there avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. So more output, at least in the early going. Nice. Head kick attempt, it is blocked by Grosso. Oh, nice. And just misses with that big right hand. How about that shin? Well, she left her head open there, Joe, and she paid for it. She continues to lean in, almost as if she's moving into the strike. She'd be wise to change up the tempo here. Oh, that punch will count, landed flush. Nice kick right there. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Ooh. Oh, 
That was a very hard right hand. Oh, man. The left hook hits home. Went for the head kick. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh, huge shot there. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, that's a good strike there by Murphy. Oh, this could be it right here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. She did a real nice job there avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. Look at this, takedown! Reversal here, nicely done. Full mount. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Hook to the head there by Murphy. Block the punch. Going for the single leg now. Oh, solid jab. Back and forth we go here. Good straight she tag again. Ball. She's hurt. This could be it right here. Big shots. Clean overhand. Oh, what a leg kick. Oh, very nice. Joe, I know she's got a lot of faith in her chin, but at what cost? She has shown an increased susceptibility to head kicks by... Oh! This could be it! Lands a good combination. She might try to finish this fight here. And she's down! She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Under a minute to go. If he gets caught by the inside leg kick, a few more, and that'll leave a mark. Oh. It appears that cut is getting worse. Nice. Oh, that head kick landed. She got tagged again. She's hurt. This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Huge block for her, Joe. Very nice leg kick there by Grosso. Look at that nasty jab. Oh. Oh, she gets stunned again. What a fight. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here's a liver shot that does some real damage. And here it is from a different angle. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Alright, round two. That last round was an all-out draw. Big oh! Oh! She lands a nice kick. How about that shin? So she lands another head kick there, Joe. It's been a big weapon for her here tonight. And specifically in this round, the head kicks have come in bunches. Let's see if the defense can show some things up here. Oh, that bruise on her thigh is just nasty. That is crimson right now. 
She's gonna have fun walking tomorrow. Murphy's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Rosso gets caught by the inside leg kick. Wow! Big shots! This could be it right here. Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Whoa! Head kick! Well, you can really sense the frustration from her and her corner now as she again gets clipped to the head. She continues to lean in, trying to set up her own offense, and gets clipped with the counter. Oh, it's tagged with the right hand there. Now she gets her back. Excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Full guard here. And lands a good shot. Oh, she blocks the punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. That knee might have landed there. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Back to over under control. Grosso's cut is just bleeding like mad. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, Joe, to see the referee call in the doctor. And if he gets a close look at that thing, he's probably going to stop this fight. Nice leg kick. Grosso gets caught with that punch. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations. And it's gonna take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm. Big shot to the liver, she's stunned! Oh! Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find her. Oh, wow. This could be it! She might try to finish this fight here. Oh! That's again the experience. Wow! This could be it right here. Nice leg kick. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there too. Grosso's hooked to the body. That one got blocked though, Joe. Murphy gets in the clinch. Well done there, she pummels. Now she's got double underhooks. Elbow. Grosso gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Murphy. Oh, strong punch there by Grosso. Murphy gets caught by that elbow. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, nice jab there by Murphy. Grosso's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, she tagged her with that uppercut. Just missing on the uppercut there. That one hurt. Over under now in the clinch. Murphy's worked in that arm well. Double under hooks now. And she gets the takedown. So there is the horn signaling the end of the round. Both fighters got a lot done in it. Knockdowns on both sides. You don't see that every day in the octagon. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action.
Ariane Celeste doing work as usual. Third round underway. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. How about that shoot? Grasso gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, big left hook. Good short punch there. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Found the target with that left hand, Joe. Oh! This could be it right here. Big right hand. Well, she got clipped by that hook, Joe, and she is a sitting duck if she's going to stay in her opponent's striking range. She's got to get on the tip of her toes, circle away from the power shots, and move those feet. That strike will count. Just missed with that huge kick. Oh! This could be it! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. It really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Oh! Hard jab. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Under three minutes to decide this one. Landed that one. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall. Oh! This could be it right here. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Nice jab. Oh! What a leg kick. Oh! This could be it. Oh! Wow! With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh! Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Wow! This could be it right here. Big body shot. Body. Wow! These shots the body have taken its toll. Murphy gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. That one hurt. Oh! This could be it! Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Nice leg kick. Showing that punch. Her left outer thigh is really starting to bruise up. Looking for the left hook. Thirty seconds to go. Oh! This could be it right here. Trying to 
establish that jab once again. She slips that left oh, hand. Oh, huge right hand! What a fight! All right, so we go the distance in this one. Her opponent had absolutely no answers for her offensive wrestling tonight. And you gotta think she'll be the clear winner due to the number of takedowns she was able to secure in this one. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 29-27. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Alexa Grasso! So we congratulate her on arguably the biggest win of her UFC career here tonight, and she continues now to celebrate with her coaches and her corner. This is a big win for her. There is no overstating just how big this could be as you project her now moving forward in this division. And the matchmakers now have an interesting situation on their hands as they try to figure out who is next. Big win for her here tonight. It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Raquel Pennington and JoJo Calderwood. Well, the book on this young woman is that she has more knockout power than anybody in this division. So no surprise what she'll be looking to do here, find a home for those heavy hands. She'll work the body, but she has been a headhunter at times in her career. This is not a woman you want to get in a slugfest with. I can assure you of that. This girl has amazing blocking technique. She can stand right in front of you, and you just can't hit her cleanly. She has such a huge advantage in that, and knowing that she has the ability to block and parry all of the different techniques that are coming her way. Riding a nice winning streak here is the UFC Bantamweight contender Raquel Rocky Pennington. She's had a knack for coming up in big spots and the biggest fight of her career, UFC 205, a domination of the former champion Misha Tate. Now we'll see if Pennington can take it to the next level. Still under 30 years of age, Rocky Pennington back under the bright lights tonight. This fighter is one of the best in the business at bringing fighters to the ground. One of her best assets is her ability to utilize all the different techniques of takedowns, whether they're throws or trips or singles or doubles. She can do it all. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Pennington is 29. Calderwood is 31. Pennington will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderon. This woman is a three-star fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eva Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix Single Mic Tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night tournament. Really missed with that right hand. Look at that, right to the temple. Good, solid, oh. straight right And now starting to snap off that jab. Ooh. 
That one hurt. That knee might have landed there. Oh, Pennington's got the over under now. Calderwood's worked in that arm well. Double under hooks now. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Trying to spin to the back. She moves into the back mount. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. She's got that choke tight. This is, could be it. Any second now, she might be forced to tap. That rear naked choke is locked in tight. That's it. it is. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, that was lightning fast, Joe Rogan. She did not waste a lot of time. She knew she wanted to get this fight to the ground and let her submission skills take over. So the takedown attempt comes early in round one, and the tap comes shortly thereafter. A huge turn of events here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Raquel So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Juliana Pena and Paige Van Zandt. Still just 23 years old, 12 gauge Paige Van Zandt has already been charged with headlining for the UFC twice and has had some big moments inside the octagon. We'll see if Paige Van Zandt can continue her strawweight ascension tonight in a big spot yet again. This girl has ridiculous stamina. The ability to push a pace that her opponent can't keep up with is one of her strongest assets. Her cardio is off the charts. A grappler at her core, but with power for days. Here is the mean, nasty Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. She is a no-nonsense fighter who became the first woman to win the Ultimate Fighter back in 2013. Dealt with a devastating knee injury, but when she returned, she did so with guns blazing and immediately vaulted into bantamweight title contention. Juliana Pena chasing down UFC glory and looking to pick up where she left off tonight. This girl has ridiculous power in her kicks. Her kicking technique is supreme, and she is one of the best knockout artists in this division with her legs. Look for her to try to stay on the outside and utilize those extremely powerful kicks. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's a great division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter and holds a special record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 
15 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, 12-gauge Paige Benson! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Spokane, Washington, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Vixen Pena! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Let's go and play. here we go. Well, she was born in Reno, Nevada, but her fighting home is Sacramento, California, and Team Alpha Male, and we've seen Paige Van Zandt make great strides thus far in her mixed martial arts career. A couple of UFC bonuses, but her shining moment to date, a performance of the night winning performance against Beck Rawlings. She finished her with a head kick back in 2016. We'll see if she can produce another highlight. Nice punch by Van Zandt. All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Van Zandt. Trying to pass here in his side control, can't make it. Perfectly timed sweep. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Some good punches from the top here. Postures up. Very nice sweep. Back to the guard position. Move back to half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. She's looking to set up an arm bar. It looks like this submission's locked. Throw the leg over the face. Now it's deeper. And this might just be a matter of time. A deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. She's got the clinch here. And they separate. And the kick lands for her there. Oh, she found the target there. That'll work. And she gets a double leg takedown. Trying to take the back here. Sweep. Excellent movement here on the ground. In half guard. Oh, Lands a big elbow man, there. that is rough. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. She's moved into side control. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, nice elbow. And very effective with the ground and pound. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Pena. She gets her back. And back to the mount. Hammer fist here by Pena. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, elbow to the head. Big punch from the top. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Pena. Beautiful reversal. Trying to spin to the back. One minute to go. She's 
move back to full guard now. Excellent posture here. Oh, elbow up top by Pena. And now she's stacking her. Twenty seconds to go. Final seconds here. She's working from half guard. She's in full mount again. Oh, pretty good work from the bottom here, Joe. She tags her with that punch. Round two is next. No more, no more, no more, no more. Spectacular. We want you to keep doing just that. Your leg kicks are perfect. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. Second round underway. Oh! Good defense there. Oh! This could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, what a combination. Nice takedown. Stay heavy here as best she can. Secures north-south position. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Connects with the punch there. Van Zant gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow doing most of the damage there. Hammers. And full back. Moves to half guard. She's now back in full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Oh! Oh, she got clipped with that straight punch to the body there. Vulnerable to it by leaning in. She moves. Oh! Whoa. She heard it with that. This could be it! It's a big shot to the head. She's hurt. She is stunned. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Pena's hammer fist there. That one gets blocked. Looking for the choke. We go two minutes. And she's out of the submission. Excellent movement here on the ground. And you gets double on the hooks now. Beautiful timing with this trip, and she gets her on the ground. Kenya gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Van Zandt. Hammer fist. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Van Zandt's bruise there on the midsection is really starting to look bad here, Joe. We'll see if she can fight through it. One thing I can assure you, that is going to hurt big time in the morning. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. Very nicely done. Underhook here. Hook in the clinch there is good by Vancing. Battle for position here. She 
She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And there's another takedown attempt. Now mixing one into the body. Nice. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together the way she has done in previous UFC appearances. Let's see if her corner can help her adjust and try to get an uptick in the dead and ultimately get her opponent out of it. Beautiful job defending the position. Nice. Trying to take the back here. She moves to back control. 45 seconds remain in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. That choke is locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Any second now. Trans and technique. Perfect technique. Round's about to end, sunk in that submission, and got the victory. Well, you're right, Joe. You could tell she was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but she didn't want to force it. She stayed patient, allowed her setup to do its work, and then let the submission materialize almost organically. So the desired result turned in by this fighter here tonight, and she has certainly set herself up for a massive opportunity now moving forward. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there she is, your winner by submission. And there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 2. To claim the winner by tap out, Due to a guillotine choke, Julia, the Venezuelan Dixon Pena. So the Venezuelan Vixen has done it again as Juliana Pena celebrates this UFC win with her corner. It appears as though she is finally regaining her form after that severe knee injury that took place a few years back when Pena is on. There is no denying that she is one of the toughest outs for anybody at 135 pounds. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Alexa Grasso and Raquel Pennington. Well, you first saw her on Team Tate on season 18 of The Ultimate Fighter, and then went on to beat Misha Tate, the former champion at UFC 205. Here is the Bantamweight contender, Raquel Rocky Pennington, and a classic example of what hard work and dedication can do for a fighter. She was sort of up and down a little bit early on in her UFC career. Something clicked. She won four in a row to vault into Bantamweight title contention. This girl is a true takedown expert. She has a full arsenal of takedown techniques, and it is her specialty. She is so good at closing the distance and utilizing spectacular takedowns to bring her opponent to the mat. Representing Lobo MMA in Guadalajara, here is Alexa Grasso, the Mexican phenom, one of the youngest women on this UFC roster. But when you look at the credentials, age doesn't matter. She's had some injuries in the past, but when Alexa Grasso has been healthy, she has been one of the best strawweights in the world. Brazilian jiu-jitsu blue belt, but an outstanding striker. Three of her four knockout wins in 36 seconds or less, not the fight during which to get a cold one. Alexa Grasso back under the bright lights tonight. This girl has a ridiculous chin. You never see her get hurt. You never see her get knocked down. She's one of the best chins in the business. And because of that, she has extreme confidence in striking exchanges. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. 
All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Alexa Grosso! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ian Cummings. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Fight. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. She blocks that offense, Joe. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Effective wow. strike there. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Went for the inside leg kick. Going to the body now with the kick. This one is blocked. Oh! Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. And there's a single attempt. Look at this, take down. Excellent sweep. Very nice sweep wound up in her guard. In half guard position. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Excellent movement here on the ground. That was a nice clean right hand. Attacking with the arm bar. She got her arm out. Now she gets her back. Oh, she landed that punch, Joe. Back to full mount again. Three minutes to go. Raining some big shots down from the full mount. Rosso gets caught by the elbow. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Raquel Penning. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Attempting an armbar here. She's got that armbar locked up. Throw the leg over the face. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. That was a deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. Grosso gets in the clinch. Ooh, she's got double underhooks. And there comes the separation now. Oh, solid jab. Tying up the clinch, looking for openings. Oh, Pennington's worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. She gets to the ground with a throw. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Pennington. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. She's going for her arm here. It looks like she's got that arm bar locked in tight. It's very close here. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. She might have to tap here. There's more and more pressure on that arm. And there it is. Won the fight by arm bar. Beautiful job. 
Yeah, near perfection for her in terms of the execution of that arm bar. She worked to isolate the arm, eventually secured it, and the tap came shortly thereafter. So a big win, and it goes in the books by way of the arm bar here tonight. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has got to stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Raquel Raquel Oh, well, how good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners? She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up. It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Juliana Pena and Raquel Pennington. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here she will be the new champion. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. All right, here's the number one women's Bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's Bantamweight champion. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape, she is focused, she is motivated, and she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Pena is 28, Pennington is 29. Pena will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. If it is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record on. Nine wins, six losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record on. Nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane, Washington, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Dixon Pena!
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go Ready? down right so now. First round underway. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. This is a huge hook to the head. Going to the leg kick now, oh. and it's there. Nice job. Oh! The left hook hits home. How about that shin? Nice take down. Trying to spin to the back. Still holding the back. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, a guillotine attempt for her here, Joe. This could be tight. She's got that guillotine locked up tight. That is just an amazing technique. Wow. Half guard here. Full mount. Look at this. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom. She looks like she's trying to isolate an arm here. It looks like she's got that arm pretty tight. Throw the leg over the face. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. That's oh, it. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Well, no doubt it was quick, and you knew if she could take this fight to the ground that her opponent was going to be in trouble. So the takedown comes early, and so does the submission win. You know she's got great instincts when it comes to finishing fights. Once she gets them to the canvas, safe to say mission accomplished for her here tonight. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you got to think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Well, we got a new sheriff in town, Joe Rogan. There she is, the woman who will be all the rage now with the MMA masses, the new UFC women's bantamweight champion. And it's one thing to come in here and rest the belt away. It's another thing to come in here and submit the champion the way she did tonight. So if you think the corner's celebrating a little bit too much right now, I would respectfully disagree. You guys have certainly earned that much. Congratulations to the new UFC women's bantamweight champion.